Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to this product overview of Paragon Deployment Manager 10. Today we'll take a look at remote deployment features such as session-based deployment, multicasting and unicasting, integrated PIXI and DXCP server, and deployment console. Imaging features include the hard disk manager and adaptive imaging tools. Paragon also supports Microsoft SysPrep, scripting, and file update. Deployment Manager supports most Windows operating systems, file systems such as NTFS, FAT16, FAT32, Linux, and Apple HFS, and hardware devices such as Solid State, SCSI, RAID, and USB devices. This is part one of the three-part series. In part one, we will focus on Quick Start, Pixie Server, Hard Disk Manager, and how to create an image. In the product structure of Deployment Manager, the Deployment Console is for initiating and monitoring deployment. It's here where we create templates, start sessions, and keep track of the clients joined. The Boot Media Builder helps create bootable CD and Pixie images based on Linux and Windows PE. The Hard Disk Manager is a fully featured utility for PC maintenance, backup, migration, and recovery for Windows-based operating systems. And last with the Pixie Server, clients can remotely boot across the local area network with the built-in optional DHCP server. We'll go ahead and launch here the Pixie server that includes the DHCP server and the TFTP server. In the first window, we'll be able to select between the default Linux image and the WinPE to boot into. Second, we'll take a look at the DHCP server that's provided with the solution. If we go into the advanced settings, we can look at some of the settings we can configure for the DHCP server. For example, the starting IP address and the type of boot file we want to use. Now if we want to use the Pixie server in an existing environment with its own DHCP server, we can definitely disable DHCP server built into Paragon and log into your DHCP server and change settings for the options 66 and 67 which will point back to the deployment manager machine for the Pixie image. We'll go ahead and launch the hard disk manager utility. And in this utility, we can use it for partitioning, backup and restore, and also disk cloning or disk copying. First, we'll demonstrate how to resize an existing partition. I'll go ahead and right click my data partition here and choose move and resize you'll see a display of the existing partition. And then now we want to click on the right hand side border of the partition, click and drag to the left hand side to shrink the existing partition table and hit yes. Now with our free space in between, uh, we'll go ahead and right click the storage partition and move and resize that partition to expand it onto the unallocated space. Again, we'll see a disk map of the storage partition. We want to go ahead and click or place our mouse on the left hand side border of that partition table, click and drag to the far left to consume that unallocated space. Next we want to create an image by clicking on the backup wizard found on the top left hand side. Go ahead and click there and click next after the V welcome. In the following screen we'll see a breakdown of all the components we see on our physical hard drive which includes multiple partitions and the master boot record. We'll go ahead and select the entire physical hard drive as our backup target. And lastly, we want to check the box that says change settings to take a look at some of the settings we provide. In the backup image option, we can enable control archive integrity that will later be used during imaging. For complex archive, we can set the image names automatically. We can also set compression level, ranging from no compression all the way up to best compression. 
Best compression can provide up to 60% compression ratio. Next, we can provide a password to encrypt and protect our archives. In the backup options, we can enable raw processing for hard disk and partition. This will provide an image of used and unused sectors on the hard drives. And this is ideal for systems with file system errors and bad sectors. We can also enable it to skip auxiliary files such as the hibernation file and page file. And in the following screen, we have the CD and DVD burning options. In the exclude options, we can exclude files by providing known file extension type. Here we specify the destination where we want to write the image. Currently we support most type of medias including SATA hard drive, solid states, hardware RAID, software RAID, and network devices such as NAS and SANS. And of course we also support writing the archive to CD, DVDs, and Blu-ray medias as well. Here we'll specify to save the archive to a network drive. And we'll go ahead and put in a short archive name. And hit next. In the following window, we can put in a short comment for the archive. And then review our summary for the backup task. Back in the main window, we'll notice here that the apply button and the discard button is now available. We can commit the three virtual tasks that we queued up, which includes two partitioning tasks and one imaging task. In addition to that, we can always go to the changes, which is found on the top left, and generate a script file. In the generated script file, it will include instructions on multiple operations that can be later used during boot media customization and deployment automation. This concludes part one of the Deployment Manager overview. Please view the remaining parts of the series to see all the features and functionality that Deployment Manager has to offer. For additional information including sales, or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.